All right, what's up, everybody? Squirrel Man's back again. Um, I'm up here in Charlotte. I'm still waiting to get loaded uh, later this afternoon, and then I'm on my way up to Virginia. I'm trying to get those miles in before Sunday at midnight, so I can see that a uh, little extra money on my check on top of my bonus. Um, I keep getting questions from you guys about taking trucks home, so I'm gonna lay it out right now. Bar none does not let you take your truck home. Uh, unless you're team drivers, you know, your teams, and then that in that case, one of the your teammates will get to take it home. Um, if you are a solo driver, um, you have to leave your truck at the yard. And yes, you will have the same truck when you get back. Uh, I still have the same truck I started with. I'm due for a new truck probably in the next, probably by springtime, maybe, because uh, I'm really getting up there in the miles. I think they cash out your truck around like 450, 460,000 miles, and I'm at 420 right now. But uh, yes, uh, you gotta leave your truck at the yard. And me, I take a rental car home. I know if you look in the Bar None ads, or if you call them, they say they talk about taking a flight home. Well, that depends on uh, where you live. There's more than one. Uh, bar none yard i know they have some in pennsylvania i think in ohio i've never been to them but um you see i only live like 180 miles from the yard so i told them flat out i'm not taking a plane home because i'm only like a three hour something drive from the yard so why the hell would i take the, the plane home you know i live in the myrtle beach area and i parked my truck in charlotte north carolina so i'm not getting on a plane i, mean, I think that's ridiculous so me specifically uh, I just take rental cars to and from. So if you talk to a, a recruiter and it turns out that you live really close to a yard, I'm sure you could you could work out the same kind of deal. But a guy I went to orientation with, he was out of Florida. So he has to take a plane back and forth. And that's entirely up to him. He knew what he signed up for. you know. And, and I understand that. That's a pretty long distance from Florida to Charlotte, North Carolina. It's a lot longer than I had to go. But to answer your questions, yes, you you get the same truck. You're not going to switch trucks. I can't believe a company will make you switch trucks. I think that's absolutely retarded, you know, because this is like your home, right? Um, yes, you get to keep the same truck. No, you cannot take it home unless you are teams. Uh, more than likely, you're going to have to get on a plane to go to and from, right? Uh, unless you live really close to the yard. And by really close, I mean under like a three hour drive right but uh i hope that answers your questions uh because i can't believe people keep asking me that uh but i mean I, I wanted to be very specific and blunt about that um is it worth it i don't know that's up to you and your your situation uh i really don't like the idea of getting on a plane right now me specifically because i just think the environment in this country is so crazy and people are just so easily catered to with their, their mental health problems that like, they'll pull, they'll pull a plane over for nothing. I mean, it's so dumb, you know? That's why I won't get on a plane. Um, that and I just think everybody's a whack job. So I don't, I don't wanna get on a plane with a bunch of strangers because I don't, you never know what people are gonna do, you know? But don't listen to me, you do what you want. But the other big major thing it's even bigger than that why I don't want to get on a plane is because I have a lot of crap I have to take back and forth you know like when I go home I gotta take my laundry home I got a big sack of laundry do I want to take that how am I supposed to take that on a plane you know um, you can you can wash it at the terminal for free just bring your own detergent so if that's a question to you and it doesn't bother you yeah you can um, do it right before you go home, do it right when it, you know, you figure it out, that's your thing, right? So, but yes, you can do the laundry for free at the terminal and you can take showers there for free, okay? They'll give you everything for free. You just gotta have your own stuff. So if that's your biggest question, then no, I just answered it. Um, to me, it's just like when I get on a plane, if I was forced to get on a plane tomorrow, I only want like one bag. I don't wanna bring anything with me. Uh, I've been on a plane, and don't think I'm afraid to get on a plane. I've been on a plane a billion times. I went around the world twice, literally around the planet twice before I was even 10 years old, you know, because I, I lived overseas when I was really young, you know, so I've been on, trust me, I've been on a plane a million times. It has nothing to do with being scared of getting on an airplane. It has everything to do with 
the people that are on the plane. <laughs> you know, I don't want to be trapped in a tube with a bunch of crazy people. Um, but yeah, I hope I answered your questions. Uh, I touched on the bonus last night in another video. Uh, yeah, I'm getting a safety bonus. Um, so yes, they do give bonuses. They do give safety bonuses, right? So you, you drive right, you do everything right, uh, you're gonna get paid for it. Uh, my, my dispatcher called me up yesterday and he was like, dude, you're doing such a good job, man. Um, they rate, I think it's on a, on a, on a scale of zero to a thousand. Uh, I think my, my grade was like 960, you know? So I thought that was awesome. I was really proud of myself for that. Um, what else was I gonna say? Damn, it just slipped my mind. <laughs> um, yeah, so the bonuses are true. Uh, damn, I can't believe I forgot what I was gonna say. Um, anyway, maybe I'll remember and touch on it in another video. Anyway, um, if you got any questions, uh, don't be afraid to comment, uh, like, share, subscribe. Thanks guys for watching. Common sense ain't common.